Ruby told herself the last thing she needed now was something else on her plate, but she'd promised herself that she would think about it. So that's what she was doing. How are you doing? Same as always. No point stressing myself. I get a bit nervous on the first visit. <laughs> Don't be daft. She will love you. Tip number one, if you are in stress, relax yourself, take a deep breath and keep smiling. Hi, Lily. It's Ruby. I progress with me. Lily missed Frank, but was always happy to see a smiling face walk through the door. Here you go, Lily. Who's that for? It's for you, Lily. Don't put that much milk in Frank's tea. He don't like it. But Lily, is there right amount of milk for your tea? That's what I want to know, Lil. Mm. Yeah. Well, I am the best tea maker. You are indeed. And that moment, Lily having a sip of tea, was why Grace was thankful to be shadowing Ruby. She wanted to learn. Have these with a nice big sip. I'm not having those. Lily, you used to be a nurse, didn't you? I was. Lily likes to know what we're giving her. She take each tablet one by one. Can I help with that, Lily? Yes, dear. Did you love being a nurse, Lily? Yeah. Don't you think Ruby knows what she's doing, Lily? Don't you think she's ace? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, stuff it, you two. Tell Lily what they told us about in the office this morning. You'd be dead good at being one of them. I'm already doing too much. No more. Dementia champions, they're called. They've got some in care homes and hospitals and now in home care too. They're people, like Ruby, who are experienced and want to know more about dementia. They are given time to keep up to date with best practice and knowledge so they can provide good care and help others do the same. 100% you should do it. Lily knew something that Grace didn't. She knew where Ruby was in her life. Ruby had enough people to care for. Her husband and kids, and her dad and her mother-in-law, and the lonely neighbour next door. She knew in her bones that Ruby lacked confidence, that she was taken for granted, that her value was overlooked. Come on, Lil. Let's get you comfy for bed. You're doing great. Ruby knew her boss valued her experience and knowledge, but being a dementia champion was a role in itself, not something that could be piled on top of everything else. It needed protected time. That's it. Lily knew in her bones, but couldn't say, that Ruby was going to need something like this very soon. Some sort of progress and recognition at work. And new carers like Grace needed people like her to show them the ropes. So there were more care assistants who understood dementia. Lily knew in her bones that opportunities like this pass by all the time. She'd seen people like Ruby miss out on things like this when she was a nurse, but she couldn't quite tell her to go for it because dementia is a difficult thing. What you know in your bones can't always turn into words that you can say. And so she squeezed her hand. And there was something about it. Is everything okay? Something in Lily's squeeze. Yes, dear. That as Ruby was heading to her next visit. Thanks, Ruby. See you next time. Well, it stopped her. Nothing ever stopped her, but this little squeeze did. And she got out her phone and went on her emails and started to write to her manager. Subject heading, Dementia Champions. Hi, Sue. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll give it a go. 